Hi everyone, my name's Natalie and here is my 28 week pregnancy update. I haven't actually put any of my videos for this pregnancy yet in like long form videos. We have done a couple of shots like the children finding out and yeah I didn't realise how many people didn't know but I've had quite a few comments saying oh I didn't realise you were pregnant and congratulations. So we are expecting another baby in October, October the 18th, and this will be our 10th little one. Currently 28 weeks. This was the morning of going to the midwife, and I actually ended up at the wrong place, so I am classed as high risk. I have been since I had my third son, Logan, and then I had a dermoid cyst that wasn't discovered while I was pregnant with Logan, although I was telling them there was something was wrong, but afterwards they figured out I had to go for scans and stuff and they found a dermoid cyst and then I had an ovary removed. And yes, from that point I have been something that's called Red Pathway and it basically means I have to go see a consultant as well as the local midwife. They've also changed it so you don't go to your doctors now, or at least here they have. In Ayrshire, we have to go, like, so some of the appointments are in South Ayrshire, some are in North Ayrshire, and then the hospital itself is in East Ayrshire. So I ended up in North Ayrshire, and I was supposed to be in South Ayrshire, at a different clinic place. But luckily, there was a lovely midwife there who did the bloods and did all the checks anyway, and then she was just going to email it across to my midwife, because I think they all work together. But it's all changed. So when we went there, um, well, before that, I'm high risk, as I mentioned. And one of the things is, they say that Logan was small, but I don't think he was. He was £7.8 and he was only eight days over. So I didn't think at the time he was small, but they've recently introduced scans. So growth scans at 28 weeks, 32 weeks, 36 weeks and 40 weeks. This time at my first appointment, I was offered estrogen as well because we lost our little girl and that's supposed to help if you've had losses, early losses. And then they also offered me internal scans so we could check my cervix, but I declined both of those. If it had been straight after we lost our little girl in 2016, I probably would have said yes to all these extra measures, but we've had four pregnancies since and I feel like it... It just adds more stress and more worry because if it, if my cervix was to change, then I'd start panicking. But anyway, so I went to the midwife, ended up in the wrong place. A lovely lady did all my checks for me. And when it came to the fundal height, so she took my bloods to check if I'm anemic. And I think there's also a sugar test in there somewhere. And then we got to listen to her heartbeat. And when it came to the fundal height, it was a centimetre under where it should be. So she sent me in for a scan. It was half past 11 that had to be there and the scan was at half past one. So we ended up doing those. Obviously, I was terrified thinking that she was she was too small. We got in there and the hospital was fantastic. I was in and out within 15 minutes and that was including the scan. And she is a tiny, a little bit small, but because we're only at 28 weeks in the start of the third trimester and the fact that they're going to monitor me anyway. And every four weeks I get to have a scan. They says everything looks great. So she's all good and happy after that little scare. We then went to Argos. I had some blinds to pick up for the kitchen and the hallway. So we went and picked those up. And then the children had been so good. Obviously, we'd had to go to the midwife and then we had to go to the hospital for the scan and to do these things in between. So we decided to go to the, the beach on the way back and we didn't have anything with us at all. It was completely spare of the moment. And it was also really quiet, so it's really warm, but a bit windy. So this pregnancy has been going really, really well. So far, there haven't been any problems. Other than her being a little bit small, and I think I may be anemic again, as at this point, usually this happens. And then I have to up my iron tablets. I'm tired, but that's just, I'm pregnant. And I'm running around after nine children, so... I suppose that is to be expected. But I do think this time has been a lot harder. I've had morning sickness. So usually I only get morning sickness in, say, six, week six and seven. And then it sort of goes away. And it's one of the first telltale signs that I'm expecting. Because I really don't like being sick. So if I'm sick, then I know that something's going on. 
but this pregnancy it's just been on and off all the way through the pregnancy and it comes on so quickly and it goes so quickly so thankfully it doesn't last too long but i have had and i'm still getting morning sickness all the way through she is also very active so a lot of the children are a bit quieter in the day and then they're like their dad the proper night owls they come out at night time kicking and punching and rolling and she is the same apart from she does it all day from morning all the way through till night and it's it's amazing how active she is so i always know that she's okay i'm also getting so many braxton hicks so with each pregnancy obviously i've had quite a few and with each one it definitely comes earlier each time and i start to panic a little bit but this time they have been coming since i was about 16 16 weeks pregnant and they're starting to get stronger and stronger i suppose it's just my body knowing what it's doing and it's just preparing itself even though we have a while to go it's just something that comes with it so i am really unprepared this time usually i'm quite organized and obviously we do have quite a lot of items as we have this will be five children under five and ten children in total but i am going to need to get a new cot for her she will be in the most basket at first but i will need to get a new cot and clothes another main thing is clothes we tend to buy clothes for each of the children and we always kid ourselves we're not going to have another one so don't hold on to any of them apart from like the special occasion clothes so yes we're gonna have to buy some clothes for her we are also still trying to decorate so once we got home and we got everyone washed off we had brought some paint and i wasn't quite sure because it was yellow but it's starting to turn out lovely but this is us painting it obviously it's not finished yet there's still quite a lot to go but that's because we brought i think it's called a piled wonder and it was a dulex paint and i didn't realize that it was silk when i brought it so i will show you now but this was one week so mark did this one week ago and this is the children's hand prints and because it's not washable we're having to paint over it the only problem is you can't get the color that we had in silk so that was an absolute nightmare trying to find that and then we just gave up and went with a different color and because of how bad it was i wanted to, to get it done straight away so yeah that's what we ended up with that lovely yellow it does look better now that it's on and once it's finished i will show you but thank you so much for watching this video and listening to my rambling